Hi, my name is Florian Rahman. I'm with Rotary and Schwartz, and I'm excited to be here at IMS in uh, San Francisco. And I'm even more excited to be able to show our latest signal and spectrum analyzer. It's a dual channel, fully coherent, fully aligned signal and spectrum analyzer. And basically, there's two. There's basically two applications that we're showing here that's been making use of the two channels. One is we're able to apply cross correlation, not only in spectrum analyzer mode, but also for all the EVM measurements. You can see here on the right hand side, the difference between yellow and blue, that's the improvement you get from cross correlation in spectrum mode. And also since we have two fully independent, fully aligned channels, we are able to directly compare the two signals, the two channels against each other. Here in the booth, my demo device is a frequency converting high gain device, 11 gigahertz in, one gigahertz out. And basically, I'm able to show with a fully modulated signal, magnitude phase and group delay, something that you would have up to now only be able to do with a VNA with a CW signal. We're showing it with a fully modulated signal, in this case here with a 32 APSK signal. Looking forward to see you next year in Boston. Hi, my name is Martin Lim with Roden Shorts, and I'm here at IMS 2025. Today we're showcasing our FSWX dual input, uh, dual input spectrum analyzer. What we have here is a generator generating a real modulated signal uh, that's 400 megahertz wide into our amplifier. Our analyzer is analyzing both the input and the output simultaneously. It's critical to actually measure both to reduce any effects outside of the DUT. Another interesting feature about this is, is a real modulated measurement. In today's world with wider band signals, memory effect is a huge, huge factor. And by measuring a modulated, we can get much better characterization of our device under test. Here on the FSWX, we're showing a channel response magnitude and channel response phase. In addition to AM, 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 PM, and uh, yeah, and we could also add group delay. Traditionally, these are measured on a VNA with CW signal, but we're finding more and more that it cannot be characterized in small signal. It really has to be tested modulated. Thank you very much.